Hi everyone, Matt here at RV Warehouse. Uh, just going to walk you through uh, this new Truma Vario Heat uh, gas unit that we've, or the gas heater that we've installed here for one of our clients today. So uh, we'll pop down and show you the unit and we'll talk a bit more about it. Like I said before, it's the Truma Vario gas heater, which has superseded the E2400. Now this guy here uses gas to power the unit up and a bit of 12 volt. And obviously the newer, newer model here is more efficient than the old E2400 and it uses less gas um, and obviously has a greater efficiency. You can see where we've mounted this unit under the bed frame, fits away nice and compact. Obviously everything's in here. You've got the one outlet, the inlet, and obviously we've got the temperature sensor on, on this side of the bed at the inlet. You know, pros and cons choosing the gas heater versus the diesel heater is that basically every van or motorhome has, you know, obviously gas bottles which are fitted to the vans, you know, from, from the manufacturer. So there's uh, only the gas fitter has to come in and tap into that line for this unit to be fitted. And obviously all the other infrastructure there to go in for that to go ahead. Now. People might ask why the gas heater versus a diesel heater. The gas heater is very efficient in the fuel usage of the gas bottles which are already fitted to the caravan or RV and the maintenance side of things. So the maintenance uh, on these uh, gas heaters is pretty much zero to, to very minimal uh, service required on these units as just being a gas system, you know, like um, as a gas hob or a gas cooktop, there's not much servicing that needs to happen with those units uh, versus a diesel heater, which a diesel heater, you know, needs to be serviced sort of every 12 months and it can cost you around, you know, two or $300 per service. And obviously another, um, you know, pros and cons towards the gas and the diesel heater is that the, um, with the diesel heater, obviously you need to have that extra fuel um, tank fitted to the RV or, or caravan there. The gas heater doesn't, you know, it doesn't produce any smell. It is very, very quiet, and you know, it is very, very much in my my mind is probably the the unit you'd like to go for versus a diesel heater. But either or either, they're both great units. Okay, so so this is the new uh, control panel uh, fitted for the new Vario Heat. We've done away from the old E2400, which is the old uh, analog style uh, turn knob. Uh, heater selection on that. Uh, very, very easy to use, very, very modern, very sleek, and it just sits there nicely, nicely uh, beside the bedside table there for the, for the client to um, turn it on and off whenever he feels like, so, and to keep it nice and warm during winter. Um, so there it is, guys. That's, a, that's the installation of the uh, Truma Vario Heat, and uh, obviously we'll see you next time on RVTV, and hit the like and subscribe button. Cheers, guys.